En esta ocasión estamos en uno de los mejores estadios y de los más curiosos de la Liga Mexicana de Béisbol. Además es un equipo muy especial de aquí de esta liga porque es el único equipo de todo, todo el mundo que juega en dos países sus juegos de local. Desde Unitrade Stadium, yo soy Yacer Trujillo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who are you in? Where'd you come from? Who are you? Are you Odisea? Yeah, I'm, I'm the one. Oh, we're finally meeting. This is my buddy Yasser Trujillo from Mexico City. And we are in Laredo on the US side. The first of two baseball games, Mexican League. I mean, he should probably just be the host from now on. I guess we gotta go inside now, right? Okay, let's go inside. Yes, let's catch Welcome baseball. Welcome to Mexico. Mexico. Welcome to almost Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. Old Mexico. Welcome to Mexican League. Baseball Mexican League. And it's a good welcome. Yeah. Behind the scenes of the Odyssey. Esta ocasión vamos a hacer un video muy, muy especial, cual tenía mucho. You're official on the board. Look at you. Look at him. All thanks to these two. Gilberto, Yasser, and Libertad. <laughs> the best. Press passes. <laughs> We're official. And how about this for a familiar face? Mr. Kenny Vargas. Woo! Hola! How was that? It was cool. Oh, Kenny. Yeah. I love him. He's a nice guy. So good. Gorilla power. Yeah. Just sitting on the berm, watching some pitchers warm up. This is the life. Mexican League Baseball. I'm already in love. Just go check it out. All right, here's one that was an overthrow. So I ended up throwing that ball back and got it back. That's pretty cool, love it. And my glove is getting love in the Mexican league now. God, I love this. Seriously, so much fun, so much fun. As the press pass, still have it. Whips around. Friendly dude. God, this is awesome. I'm just gonna keep gushing about Mexican League. And we're not even at the uh, fun part yet. We're still on the US side. Tomorrow night is gonna be even crazier. They are just loving Kenny's here with the gorilla costume. Yeah. Vamos a 
Los Vargas. Gorilla Bauer. Play ball. Gracias, Kenny. Thank you, Kenny. Oh, that was pretty cool. Now let's go see Yasser in the outfield area and catch a home run from Kenny. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Vamos, Kenny's! Welcome back. I haven't been saying much because there's been too much action and it's too much fun. I am here with Yasser 
Odisea and El Estadio. See? Yeah. See? What is your experience with the Mexican League? Oh, it's been awesome. It's been three years right now since I've been touring the entire Mexican Baseball League. Uh, so I've been in a lot of stadiums, the Pacific League, I mean the Winter and Summer League. And it's been awesome. The, the vibe is great and it's very fun to watch. And you've also been to a few other Major League Baseball stadiums, correct? Yeah, I've been in about 10 Major League stadiums, I guess. Um, from Dodger Stadium to Yankee Stadium, Wrigley Field, Fenway Park. I mean, the most popular ones. Mostly. And what's the difference between Mexican League and uh, the Major League for, for the casual fan? Um, I think experience. I mean, um, Major League ballparks are like spectacular. They're these huge stadiums with a lot to do. And it's a huge and amazing experience to me. But going to a Mexican baseball experience is so fun to watch. The, all the vibe, all the noise. The, the fans are awesome. I mean, don't get me wrong, both countries have amazing fans. Uh, Mexican fans. You can feel the vibe, you can feel all the. It's so close to players and so close to the action. Small stadium. Amazing. I would totally agree. It's. It's like the best of minor league baseball, but multiply that by almost like a soccer field. Because of those Adidas, it's the only team in the world, the entire world, that divided his home games in not, not only two cities, but two countries, two different countries. They play one series in Mexico and one series in the United States. Um, they they are separ separated. They are separated. Separated. Yeah, they they are separated by about maybe ten kilometers. I don't know which miles are there. Six miles. Well, they are separated by six miles, but of course they are separated by a border. And there are two different countries, but you can feel the mix of cultures. You can feel the vibe of the best of the two countries. I mean. They're one of the best fans, fan, fan bases ever in Mexico and I think here in the United States. I would totally agree with that. It's really cool because you get both national anthems before the game and then honestly like a lot of the music outside and then even inside is uh, in Spanish. You also get, I mean, a lot of people that probably come from both cultures, uh, a lot of uh, Mexican-Americans coming to baseball games. And like I said, that vibe is just kind of soccer meets baseball. So, how about tonight? What's what's your uh, what's your experience with tonight? How has it been so far for you? Oh, it's been great so far. I mean, the people are crazy right now. I mean, they're tight, um, no run so far, but the game has been awesome, and the people it's enjoying so much. I mean, it's 4th of July, people are happy and celebrating with the family. So it's been awesome so far. And I suppose we should give a, a big shout out to Gilberto for hooking us up with the uh, press passes. And then also uh, Tanya, because she's going, she kind of put in a request for me just to, to talk to Kenny Spargus. And we saw him before the game. I mean, I'm kind of in love with uh, the Mexican fleet. Should I maybe come down here and join permanently? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to sign a contract. I guess I'm taking my skills to the Mexican League. Sebastián Elizalde suelta guerra, lanzamiento por el mero centro con velocidad 90 millas 
Conteo nivelado, una bola atrás de él. Vemos a Javier Salazar. Suelta el envío. Machucón por el lado de la segunda. El tiro le intermedió un out a la inicial. El doble play. Y se acabó la amenaza para Tecolotes. Del 4 al 6 al 3. Así acaba la quinta entrada. No hubo daño en el pizarrón. Aquí lo vemos en la imagen. El roletazo por parte de Kenis Vargas. La suelta el cabezón. Lanzamiento a línea ya por el lado del campo corto. Bien toma Roberto. Here, right? I'll be a, I'll be a relief pitcher tomorrow. Perfect. One last time, good night from Unitrade Stadium in Laredo, Texas. Coming up tomorrow night, Nuevo Laredo in Mexico. Get ready for that. But look at me. 
I'm on the field. This is wild. I love this.